Only problem I have with the rump roast is not enough fat. But don't worry, I got plenty of cut fat in the freezer. I'm going to be able to throw in the air fryer and heat those up. I cut them into little dice pieces, heat them up from frozen, and they come out so crispy and delicious. Well, I've been off of work for <laughs> I've been off of work for a little while now. I've been spending some time with my wife, and I got to admit, when I got home, I wasn't ready to dig into a rump roast. I threw a ribeye in the air fryer and enjoyed me a nice, delicious rib ribeye today. But I told you I'd come back and talk about this rump roast, so let's take a look at it. First thing I did was add a little salt when I got back, and then I turned it down to warm. So it's been in there 24 hours. Makes it a little bit crispy on the outside, but extremely tender. Look at that, it just comes right apart. Juicy and delicious on the inside, crispy on the outside. Mm. But the, the trick to adding a little fat to something like this, if you're lucky enough in some places, they'll give you the fat, like they did at Publix for me the other day. Depends on which Publix I go to. I got one Publix that won't even give me the extra fat. They say it's against policy. So, anyway, um, you can buy cut fat from butcher shops and you can get it from different meat departments. You could either cook it in there with the meat, or what I like to do is cut it into pieces while it's still frozen and air fry it for about 15 minutes at 475 degrees. It makes delicious little popcorn sized pieces of fat that are crispy and delicious love it some people tell me they have an aversion to eating meat and it's hard for them to do this diet I gotta be honest I can't understand that I look forward to every morsel mmm yep crock pot makes things a little easier and I've also had comments about how much I spend on meat you know between paying about $5.99 a pound for the ribeye I buy and all the ribs that come with them and the rib roast and getting things like rump roast and chuck roast, usually less than $5.99 a pound. And I eat a couple pounds a day, that's 12 bucks a day. That's not too bad. Matter of fact, you'd spend more than that going to McDonald's a couple times a day. Take away all the other things that I've been able to kick as a result of this diet, not spending money on vape or any other type of uh, drugs or medicine that I used to take. I'm coming out a lot cheaper going on an all meat diet than I ever was before. So actually this is the next day after the video that I made yesterday. I don't know how I'm going to put it together, but I decided I'm going to come make some of this fat because I'm having some of that rump roast that I talked about yesterday for my breakfast this morning now that I'm back home from work. Whew, what a night. I wanted to show you how I do the fat when I cook the little fat pieces, so let's take a look at it together. I've made this in other videos, but since I've been making all these videos lately about food, I figured I'd go ahead and cover this one more time. Boy, dogs just come out of the woodwork when I cook something. So this is frozen still. I like cooking it this way because it gets nice and crispy on the outside, juicy and delicious on the inside. What have I got under here? There's something under there. Go. 
I could eat all of it, but I'm going to save some for tomorrow. That should be enough for the day. Let's set this thing on air fry. I could do grill, but it's just a preheat difference, really. Let's see, 15 minutes should be enough. Set for 475. Put these right in the middle of the tray. Space them all out so they're not touching each other. They'll cook better that way. You can really just toss them in there. It'll still get the job done, but I like to separate them some. So we'll let those go for a few minutes. And then I still got some of that rump roast left. You know, it's it's delicious. It just doesn't have a lot of fat to go with it. But that's where taking this cut fat and putting it in your air fryer and crisping it up is real good. Now be careful, if you put too much fat in there, it's gonna start smoking because it just gets so much grease at the bottom and all that heat and you'll have smoke all throughout the house. So be real careful with that. Uh, thankfully, I found out about it when I work in my outside kitchen and uh, hopefully save you from some trouble. So don't do too much at once. And if you do, make sure to clean out the fat that you got in there. You know, put it in a jar or something so you can store it for later so you can use it again. All right, so now that it's wrapping up, let's take a look at what we got here. Yeah. That's exactly what you want to see. Golden brown, crispy and delicious. They're a little squishy when they come right out, but they crisp up very quickly. And then let's see, let's get some pot roast on there or some rump roast on there. Now I separated the, the rump roast earlier so that it would sit in the, the juices a little more. Be nice and moist. I mean, you can see there's a good bit of fat left in the bottom of the air fryer. That's just from that fat. So I'm going to put that in my fat jar. Boy, that is filled to the brim. <laughs> Just enough room in there. Well, I got some good juices in there. I'm going to add a little more salt. I'm going to throw in a shoulder roast and some beef short ribs for tomorrow. Set this back on low. Let this sit overnight. So just in case I didn't mention it, this is again that rump roast from that grass-fed, grass-finished cow I got from Big Mo's cattle. And uh, it's just that the rump roast doesn't have a whole lot of fat in it. So I have some of the meat and a piece of the fat. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's like a piece of delicious popcorn. Mmm. Crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. And so easy to have ready. And honestly, that meat might be ready by this evening. Only because I'm putting it in frozen do I think I might wait until the morning to have it. I'm off work tonight, so I look forward to having that either way, whether I'm working or not. But I'll be able to keep a closer eye on it than I normally do uh, in the middle of the night. I might even sneak some in the middle of the night when I'm normally up now. Don't forget to clean your air fryer. That fat really gets all over the top. But that's going to do it for today. Gosh, is it the 30th? What is the date? I never know what day it is anymore. It's December 30th. So you'll be seeing this on the 31st. Well, all I can say is Happy New Year. I've got a new video coming out tomorrow too with um, Kimberly Hamrick. 
and she did a carnivore conversation with me. So for all you ladies out there who've been thinking about doing carnivore, you'll love her experience. She has a lot of things to say, especially if you're a mama and you've gone through some hormone issues. She's really got a good story to share. I hope you enjoy it when it comes on. Anyway, again, Happy New Year and screw it. Get up and do it. And I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? I just wanted to come back and add a little bit of salt to this now that it's defrosted some. Oh yeah, it's defrosted real good. It's only been a couple hours. Get some on that shoulder roast. Yeah, boy. Love my salt.